I came from Ghana to pay a visit to a friend. But in the course of time, things happened, and it caused me to sort of pay. The first thing that I saw, I saw in London, when I came out from the plane, there were neon lights flashing all around. There were tall, 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 tall buildings, people moving very quick. Nobody seemed to stop anywhere. It looked magical. When you arrive, you look up and you expect something a less harsher, but it's not. There's a big gate like this and it will open like a sliding door. All around here they've got barbed wire and they've got so many cameras. Every five meters they'll have a camera. Because of the way they make you walk circles just to get to the floor beneath you, it's very disorientating. The first time I realized it was I was looking outside the window of my friend on A-Wing. Then I was looking outside my window and I realized I'm actually below him. <laughs> so I'm banging the floor. There's a shop where you can buy normal groceries, packaged sweets and biscuits and diluting drinks. They have a library, but I found I couldn't concentrate. I tried to read To Kill a Mockingbird again. You can't, your trailer fort just keeps getting cut off because मुझे 20 मंथ हो गए इधर तकरीबन ना 20 मंथ तकरीबन शो स्टार्ट हुए हैं लेकिन मैं बहुत परेशान हूँ बहुत ज़्यादा परेशान हूँ तोते का पता है आपको तोता जो पैरेट होता है तो उसको आपने सोने के पिंजरे में रखें यानी कि पनिश में रखें गोल्डन गोल्ड की लेकिन पनिश तो पनिश ही है ना हार्मसवर्फ was like a massive big filing cabinet and we were all being shut in there like, like files and there's so many people that spend like hours on these railings i used to walk around here in rectangles yeah people used to say are you mad and i say well i can't you know i need to keep my feet moving if you cage an animal it will pace up and down it's cage you know Depending upon where you were arrested, that is what you come here with. So most people came here only with a pair of trousers, a pair of shoes, and a shirt. But honestly, people put clothes when they are very, very happy in their spirit. So here, uh, you may have clothes, but you may not have the desire to wear them. It's not a place that you can show off. The only thing I have here is my own clothes that I went to the police station with. If I should send to Africa today, I am going with a pair of trainers, a pair of jeans, and one jumper. That's all that I have. Either Yasmut Kender, who will be Israfil Mehinkarraha? कि ये गोरा है तो ये काला है तो ये मुस्लिम है तो ये सिख है या हिंदू कुछ भी नहीं सबका दुख बराबर है सब लोग रोते हैं सबका दुख सेम है ये होली का दिन जब आया तो जो हिंदू लोग थे उन्होंने रंग बनाया रेड कलर का ऑरेंज कलर का मैंने पहले कभी होली नहीं मनाई थी पाकिस्तान में होली नहीं होती तो इस बार शामिल हुए और बहुत अच्छा लगा जैसा उधर बॉलीवुड में होता है वो आजाद होते हैं वो डिटेंशन में नहीं ना होते शोर होता है और ऊंची आवाज में गीत गाए जाते हैं मगर यहां पर खामोशी से ही मनाई गई क्योंकि इतना खुले आम तो नहीं कर सकते वो क्योंकि वो फर्श पर भी गिर जाते हैं ना रंग फिर फेंकने से ध्यान रखा गया कि कोई हम ज्यादा आवाज ना निकालें खामोशी के साथ यहां पर बड़ी एहतियात से उंगलियों पर लगा के एक दूसरे के जिस्म को लगाए गए ये 
Yeah, there was a massive mix of people. I felt quite privileged sometimes because those railings I showed you, sometimes I used to look over and I used to look at all these countrymen from countries that I've always wanted to go to. Like once I saw some Mongolians walking along, there's three of them that came from Heathrow the night before. And I used to think, wow, these guys took over half the world one time. And you see some beautiful relationships in there as well. Like uh, my friend Hendrix, she's from Malawi, and they put him in a cell with a Brazilian kid. They, you know, they had nothing in common, but they still like develop this relationship. Everyone, you find everyone in there. The last time I was in there, it was unbelievable, but. On the 28th of September, they had a charter flight to Sri Lanka. So when I went to report on September the 13th, because some bureaucrat hadn't updated the system that I was supposed to be having a case outstanding, she thought, yeah, he fits the criteria to be put on that plane. So there and then, they detained me. It was, in all intents and purposes, a kidnap. First, three burly officers come to your cell in the morning, yeah? You get handcuffed and you get taken onto the coach. But every time you're walking on ground, and then every time you're in transit, you've got one officer sitting next to you. You know, your mouth goes dry. You get shell-shocked because you think, wow, this is actually happening. And it was like all that time before my flight, I just, I was kidding myself thinking, yeah, it won't be so bad and stuff, you know. <laughs> but then the UKBA, they actually took us to Luton Airport. And basically we were driving down the M1. And I was thinking to myself, ah, oh, these bastards, they could have at least gone through London one last time for me to see it. And I was looking at the paved roads, and I was thinking maybe next time I see roads, it'll be all dust tracks and stuff. And then this is torrent of tears just start coming down, and I couldn't stop it. I started thinking about my gran, and it's like a big uh, process just to get her from one sister's house to another sister's house. So she's never going to be able to come to uh, Sri Lanka. Then... They took me all the way to the plane. I was on the steps of the plane, but this guy come running up saying, oh, is that number 711? They said, yeah, and he, oh, he's got high court. Yeah, they brought me back. And it was heartbreaking because I'd spent like two weeks building up to the charter flight with these men. And now they were just walking past me and I don't know what, like we all made a pact, like we'll stick together when we get to Sri Lanka because we were all Tamils and there's still a lot of persecution for Tamils over there. But the thing is, I don't know how many of us would have stuck to it because on the actual flight, your mouth just goes dry. And when I was being brought back from the steps of the plane, people that hadn't got last minute reprieves were walking past me. And I was trying to say like, take care brother and stuff like that, but I couldn't get anything out. I was just, I was just shell shocked. Like, they actually gone through with it and they nearly got me on the plane. So, um, yeah, it's mad.